Hey, buddy. Look at that cute little face. There's another baby right here, guys. Oh, and his little feet are coming out. <sighs> this is heartbreaking. This is the outcome of freezing temperatures. Oh boy, that is one delicious coconut we just finished up and usually I get those on a more hot day. Right now, we're having some beautiful weather down here in Florida. It really is the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. As we're getting into winter here, the weather turns really nice for us humans, but it's not so wonderful for a lot of the reptiles that we have here. And you can see I'm by this canal right here. And if you clicked on the video, you'll kind of know what we're getting into today. This time of year, there are a lot of baby turtles hatching, but with the cold weather, it can be really hard on them. Usually, they're getting their energy from the heat, from the sun, but without that, it can make it harder for everything. Harder to swim around, harder to get away from predators. So that's why we are out here today to hopefully catch some of these baby turtles, bring them back with us for the winter, and then, if you guys follow along, hopefully we can release them somewhere in the summer once they're a little bigger and able to handle life on their own. Let's see what we can find today. These aren't the shoes for the job. That's much better. Now I need my net. There we go. And we are ready to look for turtles. So we are just walking the side of this canal right now and I don't want to be too loud because that can kind of scare some of the baby turtles that are sitting here on this bank getting that last bit of sun energy before they have to go to sleep. Now when nightfall hits, just like I said, it gets really cold so predators will be walking this bank just like I am and hunting for these little guys. Guys, there's one sitting right there. Let's see. Mm. Look at that. It's going. Come here, little buddy. Is he alive? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. He is beautiful. I don't know why he's in his shell. He might be going to sleep a little early as this sun's coming down over here. What are you doing, buddy? We've just found our first little guy. Look at him. Guys, I want you to comment down below a little name for him. Hopefully, there'll be many more. This looks like a yellow belly slider, red belly hybrid. I'm not exactly sure if you guys know what it is. Comment down below. There's a picture of his belly right there. Get him a little closer for you so it'll focus. And then this, just look how amazing and intricate that design is on his back. Get, focus on him, dude. Look how crazy that is. Perfectly camouflaged to hide here in our Everglades. Now obviously we were looking for him and I have a pretty good eye for this stuff so I was able to find him today but if he was alive for a couple more weeks here he'd have algae all on his back and it would really help him to look more natural and blend into his environment. Let's go set this little guy up back at the truck. Just gonna fill this up with a little bit of water. That should be good. And now we have our little buddy here. Oh man, that water is cold. We're gonna need a heater on this guy. His head's just starting to poke out as he floats around here. He's not really sure of what's going on. Oh, and his little feet are coming out. Look at that, little bubbles. <laughs> you all right, dude? Look at him go. Oh my goodness, look how cute he is. He's much less scared now. He's not all tucked in his shell. He seems like he's doing better, but look how tiny he is compared to me. Obviously, that would be such an easy meal for a raccoon or an aquatic bird to just pick up the same way we did. But that sun is moving quick, guys, so let's keep looking for more little babies. We have some more baby turtles right here. Look at this. More little turtles on this mud bank. Oh my goodness. There's two little babies here. Look at that. Hi, little dudes. They're just so cold. They're not even trying to run away. Usually, in the summertime, if you saw a little turtle like this, they would just take off into that water there. So these little guys are not yellow belly sliders or red belly sliders like we have here natively down in South Florida. These are red-eared sliders, and when they're older, they look like this. They got that big red ear going down, and they'll actually show that in a second if they come out here. 
They got that pattern on their belly, which usually a yellow belly slider will have a plain yellow belly. More so like this, but without those little dots there. I don't know if these guys are from the same clutch of eggs because you can see this one is a little bit bigger. Just little gems to be able to find out here on a whim. So glad we could save these guys. Now they are invasive, so we won't be able to let these guys go, but we are going to still remove them from the ecosystem here. Let's go put them in the tub with the other one. I'm sorry to wake you up, but here you guys go. You can see the difference in the pattern on these two that we just caught compared to the first one. Just look how different that is. Try to zoom in there. He has much more yellow and thicker bands. These guys have a lot more green and just such an intricate, beautiful pattern. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Look at this. This is heartbreaking. This is exactly what we're trying to prevent today, guys. Such a beautiful little turtle. Look at how beautiful that is, if it'll focus there. Similar to the one that we first caught. Might have even been from the same hatch, one of his brothers or sisters. From what it looks like, it was probably ants. Usually, these little guys are lightning fast, can get away from any predator, big or small. But with that freezing temperature and they can't move, ants can get to these guys and, well, this is what happens next. Really, really stinks to find something like this. But like I said, this is why we're out here. Let's go try to find more and save more. Right next to where we were at is this ant pile. And there's an ant pile right here and more all down the road here. This is the outcome of freezing temperatures. Guys, there's another shell right here and I don't know if there's anything in it. It could be just like the other one. It's just a floating shell. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Oh my gosh. He's alive still. You're alive. Hey buddy, look at that cute little face. I don't know what he was doing in here, but it looked like he didn't make it. It looked like it was just a floating shell all by itself. Look how beautiful. And let's see, that is a yellow belly. I'm so happy to have found this guy doing all right after what we just found. And as I said, it's a beautiful yellow bellied slider. These guys are native to Florida and you are gonna be coming home with us, little guy. Now we have four in the bin. That means you guys should have four little names down in the comment section. Let's keep looking. I kinda wanna add some of this duckweed and top layer cover for these guys in their little tank just so they can hide a little bit better once we get them set up. I'm gonna get more of that stuff, but this should make them a lot more comfortable so they have a place to hide and they don't have to be out in the open. There's another baby right here, guys. Let's get him before he goes away, although I don't think he's gonna be very fast. Boots are sliding down here. Look at all this trash, guys. This is terrible. Guys, look at this. Hi, little dude. Our boots are soaking with cold water. Yeah, that is cold water. I understand why you're on top of this piece of wood here, trying to get out of that cold water, but also trying to get away from any predators that lie below in this swamp. Again, look at all that trash, guys. Oh, we have a leg coming out there. Were you just stepping on me? She's like, I don't know if I should stay in my shell or make a run for it. Baby turtle number five. I cannot believe it. Another yellow belly, and that means we have saved five baby turtles today, guys. This is so cool. Let's get him with the others. These little guys are rocking and rolling. You can see one has already hid himself in that pile of vegetation. I'm gonna put him in there. You can see that we're missing one turtle. That's because I put him in the truck. It seemed like he was not handling the water so well, so I wanted to keep him dry, but we'll get him in the water once it warms up. And we are back at the house, guys. Look, I have the turtles in a newer container here. This little Tupperware is gonna be fine for now, but we're actually gonna be setting them up in their new little enclosure today. And if you guys wanna watch that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna wanna miss it. 
All these little guys are running around in here. We actually caught one more little baby turtle here. I'm not going to show you too much of it because you guys are going to see it in the next episode. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did catching these little guys and knowing that they are going to be safe this winter. I cannot wait to see how big they get and have you guys follow along on our journey. So I am hopping off. We're going to make them their new little enclosure and I will see you guys next time. Peace.